Mm. So welcome to the South African lawn. Yeah, so the lawn. I went, I mowed here the day before yesterday, but unfortunately for approximately 10 days prior to that, I never mowed once. And I was already on the highest setting of my cylinder mower, which should be very close to 35 mils. And then I realized that mowing this was like watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It was an absolute nightmare. It was a horror film. My mower could off, even after two or three passes, not mow most of this lawn. It is completely, completely overgrown. And that's why I'm making this video today to show you what I will be doing as an attempt to, you know, regain some form on this lawn. So today we're going to try and reset the height a little bit, not complete scalp down to soil level, but we're going to mow a little bit lower, reset the height probably somewhere down to 20 mil, somewhere in that area to allow some space for some leaf growth once again. You know, so it's absolutely, absolutely, it's looking healthy, don't get me wrong. So I've been fertilizing a little bit and that is, you know, encouraged some growth not extreme growth, but you have to keep up with the mowing, especially if we're getting as much rain as, we, as we've had this summer. So completely overgrown. I'm going to scalp this hockey down, probably two or three passes. I'm going to rip out my rotary mower, the electric rotary mower, um, because the cylinder mower just struggles to actually get hold of most of these leaf blades. On most of the areas, it's okay. It does actually cut, but as you can see on the taller setting, it just absolutely scalps into the lawn, so there it doesn't even cut. Um, so I'm going to take the rotary, cut it down one notch, and then maybe come with a cylinder mower another one or two passes. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, no. Gaat ons alweer. much easier when there's no soil or compost in this thing. I'm going to put the trailer here uh, because I think the clippings will just be an enormous amount and it will fill my dustbin in no time. So yeah. Yeah, so when this happens, don't feel bad, Owens, because this happens. You get it overgrown sometimes. The thing is, it's how you come back from that. You know, it's how you stand up when you're knocked down. And there we go. So round one done, so quite a lot of uh, clippings already and I must be honest, this lawn is looking lacquer. So I'm doing this guys, just have a look here, the, the lawn is actually looking quite lacquer. It's digging in a little bit there but I'm not even on the top setting of that rotary mower but probably 90% of this lawn is actually looking quite lacquer. So if you've got a rotary you can get away with a taller Kukuyu lawn for a lot longer. But because I like to mow with a cylinder mower, it gets quite uncomfortable because Firstly, the cylinder mower doesn't want to pull as nicely. And secondly, it starts bouncing. So you have to pull up on that handle at the rear to really dig in with the front roller into the lawn to stop it from bouncing. I don't know who's experienced this. Put up your hands and tell me your experience of this bouncing. Now, over the last week, I've been watching a lot of Formula One testing in Bahrain and all those lacquer places. And the biggest talking point is porpoising. Now, if you didn't watch it, go and watch one of these uh, Formula One um, highlights of the testing and now the first thing that you'll hear is porpoising, porpoising, porpoising and what it is is the cars bouncing on the track and I don't know what the big talking point is because us Kukuyu owners who also have cylinder mowers have been struggling with porpoising I'm no longer going to call it bouncing I'm now going to call it porpoising for the last 60 years 
And they say how dangerous, dangerous it is because the drivers can't see properly because they're bouncing up and down. And now we've been struggling with it, with it for 60 years and no, no sympathy or empathy, whatever, that thing that people feel sorry for you has been given towards us cylinder mower owners for bouncing around on our Kukuyu lawns over the last five decades. Round two and fight. Yeah, like I own, so that's a high tree set. Okay, so that's three passes, and um, the last one probably here at around uh, 20 mil. So that should allow some 15 mil of leaf growth on my highest setting, uh, which should be good enough for the last bit of the season. I've only got realistically another um, two months of lacquer growth here. May, April, hold on. Yeah, April and then in May it's going to slow down really. That's why I didn't want to go too aggressive. However, in this area right here, um, as you can see, I took off all the leaf blade, cut most of the crown off, and there's almost only stalk left. Um, so the rest of the lawn really is okay. Um, as you can see there, there's uh, quite some green left. It will yellow definitely in the sun today. Um, but yeah, that's a good height reset. And as I say, should be able to mow at 35 mils, the highest setting on this um, cylinder mower quite effectively for the last two months of this season and this should it should give it at least enough time to recover completely before winter dormancy so yeah guys that is my height reset hope you enjoyed the video if you did so be sure to like this video help to rank up in youtube um, and also if you have not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing i would really really appreciate that and thank you so much for watching until the end of this video i'm really excited for this channel a lot of winter videos also coming up with the kentucky bluegrass lawn also the putting green putting green starting to look really good um yeah so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video cheers for now bye bye oh Hona. i might need the call for this Oh, you're laughing because you're thinking how much can that clippings really weigh Nick you must be the, the weakest O in South Africa but have a look at that don't 80 square meters this is a five foot trailer and I filled it probably past the halfway mark here but if your lawnmower is porpoising bouncing all over the place and this is what you need to do to have an enjoyable time with your next mouth.